Today we're going to show you how to hook up a three-way switch. So two switches controlling one light here. So what you're going to need is 14-2 wire here, and in between the uh, two switch boxes here, the two light switches, you're going to need 14-3 wire. We're going to show you how to hook this up today. We're going to step by step here, and with the diagram you can understand how this is done. The power is going to come in here, and then we're going to power to the light and back to the switch here. Check your local building codes. Here in this part of uh, Canada where I am, they have these three-way switches have uh, the two travelers, two screws for travelers, and then the common one where the black wire goes, the power goes here. Notice that there's no ground uh, terminal here. There's no screw for the ground terminal. I thought that maybe they were missing on these particular uh, three-way switches, but no. In my particular part of the country, you don't need to have the ground hooked up to the switches. So check your local building codes. You may need to have the ground on the switch. So this is just a demonstration. So these boxes are usually surface mount. I'm just going to use them because it's easier to see, less confusion here. And you just want to see how it's wired anyway. So these boxes are going to be different from what you're going to be using here. I'm going to show you how to hook up a three-way switch where the light is between the two switches and the power comes into the one, one of the switches. So ideally you'd have this in your basement or in your kitchen or in your living room. The building codes in my area did not require you to put a, a ground screw on the, or ground wire on this, the switches. Check your local building codes if you have to put the ground wire on the, on the switches. So in this diagram, all the ground wires are grounded to inside the box, the two switches, and uh, on the light as well, they're all grounded to the box. So you've got 14 two wire come into your first three-way switch. All these three-way switches have three screws. This is what they call the common, and these are the two travelers. So the black wire is going to go on this common, on the black screw. And then the neutral wire coming into the first switch is going into a, a Vigo connector or a MAR, and you connect the neutrals here. Now, coming from the light, you're going to put a neutral wire on the light, on the silver part of the light. That comes into the first switch box, and that connects to the Vega connector or a Mara connector into the first box. Coming into the switch, you're going to have a black wire coming to the top of the switch or top of the traveler here. And the red wire is going to go to the other top of the other traveler. Going into your actual light, this is where it gets complicated. The first thing you're going to do is connect the, the red wire. The red wires go from one switch to the other. So uh, use a Vega connector. Or MR, connect the red wires together. That goes from one switch to the other. The black wire coming from the first switch is this big uh, Navigo connector. And the neutral wire has tape on it. I'm telling you now that's a hot wire. Put that on there. And finally, the black wire coming from the second switch is going to go on this the gold terminal. Coming into your second switch, the black wire coming from this is going to go all the way to the black screw or the common screw on the three-way switch. The neutral wire, now with the tape on it telling us the hot wire is going to go on the top traveler. And the red wire goes on the other traveler. Now you have your circuit complete. Let me move all the things and you can check it out on the diagram again. I'm going to connect the ground, so I uh, just looped the uh, the ground cable around the the screw inside the box here. I'm going to tighten that. Loop the same way you want to tighten it. And now you just use a Wago connector. Connect the two grounds together here. And if uh, you have a ground screw on your particular your switch, then you'd use another ground to the switch. But in Canada... Uh, my part account, I don't have to do that. Now let's connect the two uh, neutrals, the two white wires together. One coming from the power, one going to the light. Use our Lego connector here. Now we've got the neutrals connected. Here's your three-way switch. So this is what they call the common now. 
You can hook the power going to the common here. And these are the two travelers. You're going to hook the two wires, the red and the black, going to the light to these two travelers. So let's hook the black wire, power wire coming in here to the black one. And remember, loop it the same way you're going to turn the screw. Now the black wire goes in the top here. One of the travelers. And the red wire on the opposite side here to the other traveler. You've got your black coming in with the power. You've got your black going to the light. You've got red going to the light. You've got your two neutral wires connected and your grounds connected. So we've got 14.3 coming in this side of the light and 14.3 on this side of the light. Now we'll connect the two grounds together. Now I took the ground and I'd wrap it around this screw inside the box and turn it the same way you're going to tighten it. So we'll tighten this inside the box here. Now we can use our Vago connector to connect the two ground wires together. The grounds are connected now. So here's where it gets complicated at the light itself. So you've got the ground wires coming in. It's grounded to the box itself. Now we're going to hook all these wires. We're going to hook up the two red wires together with a, with a Vago connector going to connect this black wire coming from this first switch going to this neutral wire and they're going to mark this with a tape let us know that that's now a hot wire you're going to take the white wire coming from the first switch on the silver screw and the black wire coming from the second switch on the gold screw let's connect the two red wires first use the Vago connector here Now our two reds are connected. So now we're going to take the black wire coming from the first switch and going to hook it to the neutral wire going to the second switch. Now this neutral wire becomes a hot wire. Take a piece of tape and we'll tape that up to let us know that now it is a hot wire. And then connect our Vago connector to these two wires here. And our last step, take the white wire coming from the first switch, hook it on the silver terminal on your light. Tighten that down. Remember, loop it the same way you're going to turn it. And then the black wire going from the second switch on the gold terminal on your light. Got our grounds inside here. We've got our red wires connected. We've got the black wire coming from the first switch connected to the neutral wire going to the second switch, and we're going to mark that as a hot wire. We've got the black wire going from the second switch to the gold terminal, and the neutral wire coming from the first switch to the silver terminal. Already looped the uh, ground wire to the box here. I'm just going to tighten that screw up, and my code in my area. Does not require me to put a uh, ground on the switch. Check your local building codes, and you'd have to run, run a wire from here to the electrical box here. So the other thing, we're going to hook all the three wires now. Now this black wire coming in here goes to the neutral wire, which is now considered hot. So we're going to put a black tape on here just to remind us that this is now a hot wire. Now we take the black wire to the common or the black screw here, put that in there. We're connecting the black wire coming from the gold screw on the light, going to the common black screw on the three-way switch. Now this is the neutral wire, which is considered a hot wire. Now we've got the tape on it, put that on the first traveler here.
red goes in the second traveler screw. Now our second switch is connected. So let's go over what we've done here. We've got 14 two wire coming into the first box. We've got it grounded to the box. Now the power coming goes to the first, the uh, black screw or the common. The neutral wire goes to a Vago connector. We've got 14 three wire coming from the light. The black wire goes to the top of the first traveler. The red wire goes to the other traveler. And the white wire or the neutral wire is connected to the Vago connector. Going to the light, we've got it grounded to the box. We've got the two reds connected. So the red coming from the first switch connected to the Vago connector going to the second switch. The black wire coming from the first switch connected to the neutral wire going to the second switch. Now we mark this as a hot wire, so we put tape on it. We've got the white wire coming from the first switch to the silver terminal. The black wire come from the second switch to the gold terminal. And finally, the switch, second switch, with the black wire going to the common. You've got the, the white wire, the neutral wire with the now considered hop with the tape on it to the first traveler. And the red wire going to the second traveler, and we've got it grounded. So get the power on. I'm going to check this out. So this scenario would be, say, an upstairs and a downstairs in a basement or in a kitchen. One side of the kitchen, the other side of the kitchen. So the switches on either side of the light. So let's try it. Switch number one, we turn the light on. Switch number two, shut it off. Turn it back on. Switch number two, shut it off. Switch number one. So please share my video and ring that bell and be notified next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for joining my channel. Watch this for the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great one, people.